Now, there's two of you there. Someone's got the deck of cards, and you can see for this one here, I've actually already begun shuffling it. Um, I will do a bit more shuffling because when someone comes to you with a deck of playing cards, you should never ever trust them, okay? Like, just always be suspicious, okay? In fact, I'll do, go on better. I'll take off my watch. Uh, so you know I'm not hiding up anything up my sleeves, okay, they're already pre-rolled up, okay? So once you've shuffled your own deck of cards and put away those jokers in there as well, can you just hold up your deck of cards to me so I know that you're good to go? And maybe just kind of fan it out like I have so that you can see and so that I can see. It's nice and mixed up. That looks good. Others, can someone show me their deck of cards? I can hear someone fancy riffling their cards. Good for them. Could you hold them up so that I can see them? I, I'd love to see if you, yeah, that's, that looks good. I'm still waiting on a few more. Okay, that's really shuffled. Up the front here we can see, that's what we call a casino wash. When you put it on the table and you do this, uh, that's what they do at casinos. They, it looks like they're washing, right? Anyway, okay. Now, okay. So, for this next part, one of you has all the cards in their hand and the other person is going to be the person the trick is performed on. We're about to do a card trick in case you hadn't worked that out, okay? Now because I'm alone, I'm gonna need your help in a minute to pick a card and do all this kind of thing, okay? But, person who's got the cards, all right, you've got them all in your hand. What I'd like you to do is to hold them like I'm holding them so that your partner can choose a card, any card. So go ahead, let them pick a card. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do, I need your help here for this part, right? Um, I don't have a partner here in front of me, so I'm going to pretend as if I do. You're, all of you, are my partner, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on your behalf, select a card. Please watch me closely so you know I'm not looking at the card. I'm not looking at it. Okay, so there it is on the table. Now what I'm going to do is, just for a moment, so that you all know what this card is, I am going to turn it over so you can all see, but I'm going to do that while covering my eyes so you know I don't know what it is. Does this make sense? This is as if like there's a partner I have here. Okay, so here, here's the card, all right? I'm taking off my glasses so you know I'm suitably blind. In fact, I'm going to put them like here, okay? Cover, are you content I can't see anything? Yes. Y yes? Come on, are you content I can't see anything? Yes. Okay, thank you, that's great. So here's the card. Okay, now please don't say it aloud, obviously, because then I know what it is. Please commit it to memory, because this trick will be much less impressive if I get to the end, and then you're like, and I'll say, is this just your card? And then you're like, I can't remember. Okay, so are you content? You've all seen it? Yes? Okay, great, I'm gonna turn it back over now. Okay, is it, is it turned back over? Can I open my eyes? Okay, wonderful, all right, so here's your mystery card. Okay, now, have you let your partner choose a mystery card? Do they have their own mystery card now? Yes? Thumbs up? Okay, amazing. So now, person with the cards, here's what I'd like you to do. Please deal out two piles in front of you of 15 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, there's one pile. And then you can do it again. I like to do it in threes sometimes because they're quite easy to count. Two threes, three threes, four threes, and then five threes. Okay. And then lastly, person with the cards, you should have a whole bunch of cards left in your hand. Can I ask you to look at those cards? And I'd like you to see if you can find, I've got one, but it depends on how you've gone. I'd like you to find a card that looks like a jack. Now there are four jacks in the deck, so I'm hoping you've got at least one in those leftover cards. If you don't have one, <laughs> tell me if you don't have one. Is anyone not able to find it? Hold up your hand if you can find a jack. In fact, hold up your jack for me so that I can see the jack. Okay, good, good, mostly we're there. Okay, fantastic, so take that jack if you've got it there and you can put it down. You know what, if you can't find a jack, don't stress. Just pretend that whatever card you want is a jack, but the rest of us, we have a jack, okay? You'll see why that's important. Okay. So now this is what your table should look like, okay? Here is this mystery card, and then I'll make a bit more space here. There we go. Then you've got two piles of 15. One of them is gonna to belong to the person who selected the mystery card, and then one of them is gonna to belong to the person with the jack, okay? So this is what it looks like on my table. Maybe you should have this facing each other, okay? Now, for all of you, I would now like the person who selected the card, right? The person who's not performing the trick. I want you to have a lot of power in this next stage, okay? So, see these two piles of 15? Watch closely. What I'm gonna ask you to do is to divide that pile up 
Here's one pile of 15, right? Divide it into two piles of whatever size you like. So this is not the person performing the trick, it's the person who picked the mystery card, okay? Divide it into two, and then take this other pile and also divide it into two. Obviously, because there's 15, you can't actually divide the cards in half, why not? It's an odd number. So the closest you could get is like seven cards and eight cards. I'm not even looking at how many I've got, but they're divided roughly into two groups. Okay, here we go. Person who chose the mystery card, could you raise your hand for me? I just want to know who I'm making eye contact with. Okay, fantastic. You're in control of this next part, right? You're going to bury your mystery card in the deck. Here's the way you're going to do it, okay? You're going to, this is uh, from your perspective, right? You've got your original pile of 15 and it's been split, right? I want you to put your mystery card on top of, and you can choose one of these piles, okay? So I'm gonna put it on this one, okay? Then, you've got the other two piles. You can choose, mystery person, you can choose one of them to go on top. Now I've got a left and a right. I should have asked it the first time. Would you guys like me to do the left or the right? right. <laughs> I heard left first. I heard, I heard both, but I heard left first. So here's the left pile. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on top. So the mystery card is buried inside here. Okay. Now, remember how I asked you to find a Jack? Jack? So this is Jack the Hunter. Jack the Hunter is going to find where the card is. We're going to hide Jack the Hunter in the deck as well. So in the same way that we hid the mystery card in here, we're going to hide Jack the Hunter between, this is the one closest to you, between this card, this pile, and this pile. So the mystery card's somewhere in here, Jack is somewhere in here, and now we're going to combine the piles together, just put one pile on top of the other, and now you've got all the cards. Okay, now so far, you've just been following what I've been doing, okay? I want you to stop for a moment and just look at what's happening on screen. I want you to follow and see this step, and then you guys are all going to have your turn, okay? Jack the Hunter, there's Jack is going to hunt down that card that I close my eyes. I, I don't know what it is, but you guys all saw it on screen, right? Here's the way it's gonna work, and you're gonna do this too. I'm going to deal out all the cards, one by one, into two piles, like this. I'm going left, right, left, right, and I'm gonna do this for the entire pile, okay? I'll speed up a little bit, because you can see what I'm doing, right? So I'm splitting the pile into two, and once I've done that, you can see, maybe you can see this is why it's face up. There's Jack the Hunter right there. See Jack? Jack is telling me that your card is in this pile. So I'm going to get rid of all these other ones. Okay? And then I do it again. I'll do it faster because I think you get the idea, right? I deal them all out. Watch closely. And then Jack the Hunter is going to tell me where your card is. According to Jack, your card is in this pile. So I'll get rid of the rest. I'm getting close now. So he goes two piles. Jack the Hunter is narrowing in on which card he thinks is yours. I've really got a few left now. One, two, three, four. Jack the Hunter is telling me that this is your card. So can you please tell me whether, here we go, Jack was right. Oh. Not bad, right now. Now, I'm so delighted you enjoyed that, but it's so much better watching, compared to watching someone else do magic, is when you do magic yourself. So, all of you have the same thing I had in my hands. Remember, what we were doing was, I'll just rehearse it, right? You're dealing it into two decks, alternating one at a time, and look for where Jack ends up. Jack is hunting down the card, and at the end, he'll find it. Good luck, off you go.